Dicini versus the Secretary of Justice, GR number two zero three 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 five, February eleven twenty fourteen. Facts: The Philippine Congress enacted Republic Act one o one seven five, or known as the Cybercrime Prevention Act of twenty twelve, which seeks to protect individuals from crimes or unlawful acts that can be committed through the internet. While it is admitted that the use of internet or cyberspace gives access to research, advertisements, business, inquiries, and connection with a greater number of audience, it is also an instrument to commit crimes which the law itself is trying to prevent and regulate. Petitioners in these consolidated cases contended that this law violated certain constitutional rights thus praying that it be declared void and unconstitutional. The temporary restraining order issued on October 9, 2012 is extended for 120 days pending resolution of the case. Issue Whether or not several provisions of the Cybercrime Prevention Act of 2012 violated freedom of expression and privacy. Ruling Yes, out of the 21 sections of the cybercrime law challenged by the petitioners, the Supreme Court declared three provisions void for being unconstitutional, to wit, sections 4, paragraph C, number 3, section 12, and section 19. Rational. The court in section 4, paragraph C, number 3, placed great weight in the protection of commercial speech. And it is ruled that unsolicited advertisements are legitimate forms of expression. It ruled, the Supreme Court ruled, that there is no basis to the claim that the presence of unsolicited commercial communications or spam tend to slow down the efficiency of computers as well as its storage and it is considered as a nuisance to the users. Commercial Commercial speech is afforded protection in this case. Rational. The court in section 4, paragraph C, number 3, placed great weight in the protection of commercial speech. It is ruled that unsolicited advertisements are legitimate forms of expression. It ruled that there is no basis to the claim that the presence of unsolicited commercial communications, or spam, tend to slow down the efficiency of computers, as well as its storage and is considered as a nuisance to the users. Commercial speech is afforded protection in this case, further stating that the people have the right to read one's email and the denial of such constitutes violation of freedom of expression. It is noted that these messages form part of the freedom of speech and were never considered a nuisance. Some people may even be interested in the ads as long as the people have the right of option whether to open the mail or not. As to Section 12, the court found that it failed to provide safeguards to the right of privacy of every individual as its authority is given to law enforcement authorities to gather electronic traffic data referred as the date, time, size, origin, etc., of a certain communication. It is declared as unconstitutional as it must must be specific and definite to ensure that the rights of every individual are protected. The court ruled that the authority given under this section is without restraint, although the law states that the collection of data is limited to those associated with specified communications. It is still the law enforcement agencies that would specify the target communications. It is noted that every single information, when collected and gathered, may create profiles of persons, including their political views, associations, and activities, which is protected by the right to privacy. The section likewise failed to define what is meant by due cause, which will empower and authorize law enforcers The section likewise failed to define what is meant by due cause, 
which will empower and authorize law enforcers to collect traffic data as it did not relate the use of said collection of traffic data to the probable commission of a particular crime. There is no guarantee or limitations imposed that law enforcers will not take advantage and abuse the authority given to have such information. Lastly, the court declares Section 19 as unconstitutional as it violates the constitutional guarantees to freedom of expression and against unreasonable searches and seizures. This section gives power to the DOJ to block access to a computer data which is found to be prima facie a violation of the cybercrime law without the need of a search warrant. It is guaranteed by the 1987 Constitution in Section 2, Article 3, that every person has the right to be secured against any unreasonable searches and seizures. The power granted under Section 19 of the Cybercrime Law clearly contradicts the constitutional right of every individual against searches and seizures without a warrant. It is also ruled that computer data constitutes speech and that the counter and the curtailment it is also ruled that computer data constitutes speech and the curtailment of such by the DOJ through blocking any access to it restricts freedom of expression. The court, in upholding the validity of several provisions, ensured that the rights guaranteed by the Constitution will not be violated or restricted.